hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my another video and here we are going to talk about react and the tailwind js okay like the tailwind utilities we are going to use to build this kind of ui i mean i'm targeting only the header and the hero component this is the header component and this is the hero component rest we have like okay this is the mobile view and then we have whenever you expand this so when this is a hamburger icon when you click on to this the menu should expand in the vertical fashion so we are just focusing on these three screens three or four screens and we are going to build the header component the hero component the footer component and the it's like a landing page design we are going to create and we are going to use tailwind so we will also see how we are going to design this kind of layout okay and we are going to use the existing components existing app uh, app setup which we have already done with react typescript tailwind okay like this is the new bar component we can say this is the hero component we have right so we will also add some colors uh, and all the some default images uh, which we can configure in the tailwind config so this is our tailwind config.js here Currently, we don't have the lot of things. It's like it's using the default configuration. But here we can import the tailwind colors. Like uh, here we can const colors equal to require tailwind CSS colors. CSS and we have multiple colors okay and then we can configure some default colors inside our theme so this is our theme inside the theme we can define our default colors okay these are some set of colors we are going to use and we can also define the screens inside the theme okay so it is obtaining we do have one bracket extra okay and with the colors we can also configure screens it should be screens and here we can specify okay i don't want it to use small medium large extra large and all these things i just wanted to have a two different screen which is sm okay and i'm considering that as 300 pixel and then i'm going to have one another is large which is I'm considering anything which is greater than 700 pixel okay so I can I can use my styles with like okay uh, sm text color text gray 200 right and by default uh, I mean here we can just use large by default you can just say okay text blue 800 so what does this class means by default text blue 800 will be applied on the large screen text gray 200 will be applied so whenever you change the screen width uh, from 300 plus then all these are large screens right so this particular styles will be applied for the large screen and for the small screen which is up to 300 pixel the this particular blue will be applied so same way we can actually use these colon like uh, we can say uh, rounded in the large right we can just also say rounded two or something like this so this is how we will be just adding the styles which vary based on the screen size okay and we can also extend a couple of things let's say extend background because we wanted to put some background images right so here we can use extends and we can use background image and we are passing theme okay so there are two default images we are going to add 
hero image that is starting with a URL and we already have that hero image inside SRC SRC assets hero dot PNG and then there is another image we are going to define is actions so we can simply use BG hero it will automatically put background image as uh, this hero dot PNG action.png right so this is how you can extend the tailwind configuration like i put some uh, custom background images some screen sizes which we are going to use like small and large default will be small and when you put lg the large styles will be applied and the default colors now you can simply say is whenever you wanted to apply color bg or range 200 right that means this particular color will be applied okay so now coming to our components here index.tsx here we need to create our component f from let's say i'm going to create app.tsx in the root component i mean in the src here it is app dot tsx okay and i mean we are not going to write any business logic i mean some kind of a code logic here we are talking more about the tailwind css import react from react and here we are creating a component const app component and export a default app and what it is returning it is going to return a couple of components let's say neighbor then we have hero component then we have the landing page then we can call another component as a footer and all of these is divided added inside a div Okay, these three four components we are going to create. So let's put this inside. Okay, now we are going to create these components. Okay, with, with the warning, I think it's not going to format it. <coughs> now let's say I'm going to create a new var component. Okay, new var component is a header, and we have to take care of the responsiveness like this one and uh, so this is the hamburger when you are going to the small screen it becomes hamburger and we should be able to see this drop down menu options like this okay so first uh, we can actually create a components folder here and inside that i can create new file and let's call it as a new bar dot tsx and i will import the uh, app dot tsx and we'll put the content inside this so this is new bar okay inside new bar we will just put all the jsx we need all the classes and all so let's start <coughs> First, we need to design the header and then the hero component. Now, if you see from the UI, uh, this is what we are targeting, right? Inside that header, we have the logo and then there are the menu icons. First of all, the outside container. So for outside container, we can have simple flex container and the flex column because this is the first component, this is the second component, all are stacked vertically, right? So it's clear that we can have a flex layout and flex layout will have flex column. Okay, so first of all, this is our app.tsx. Here we can add the classes. Okay, so let's create another class. And box border. 
border box and inside we can just put this div and this div will have flex flex column so here you can see flex column that means all will be vertically stacked okay once fp format width okay inside this we have a new bar we have a hero component blah 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 whatever the component we need okay let's uh, create a new bar component so new bar we can import export default new bar can i import like this okay nothing import new bar from we are importing from the components folder there is new bar dot ps okay and we already have some code in the new bar so this is our new bar component okay so inside new bar we are going to design our header and the header should support both mobile and the desktop okay if we also take a look onto this header first let's design the the desktop view you can see it's a flex flex row inside flex row we divided the header into two parts let's say the logo and the menu items menu items are uh, arranged horizontally so it's like can be a simple list uh, which is there inside a flex row so here first of all it is flex flex row and then it is item center justify between and the height of this height let's say for the header is 28 so i will just call header and we'll also start designing uh, after looking the output view what we are getting so i will start the application also npm run start we will see what is coming up okay so first of all uh, we are going to put the uh, logo which is ahref let's say this is the ahref and here we are adding the class name for the logo and inside this anchor tag we are going to have an image src some image you will find out and we will put the height width of that image let's say the height we are putting yes t 60 height uh, we'll decide something on that height and width let's say if i'm putting 65 percent here width is also 65 percent and outside the outside wrapper outside wrapper this is the logo class margin left is let's say 10 because the logo should have a margin left right this margin left i'm talking about and it has some logo which we are going to import so the logo we are going to get from um, the component so let's see the logo is there I guess so we want to run this on different port yes so this is our header component and we put the image and the logo and this is how it looks like and now we will keep changing things whatever we needed okay so this is the left end part of the header okay now we need to add the right side of it and inside this we have a couple of anchor tags uh, we can just use these anchor tags without image okay let's say this is home and we have a couple of options home product
Home product contact, FAQs, simple, right? And you can see these options are coming. Okay, we can just replace this one. Here we can see flex column. And because this is a flex column, and then there is a flex row, the first div is the logo, and the another div is the these options. Okay, we need to somehow align this to the center and give some margin padding and all the things to these uh, buttons and how much width we can also fix the width of these options which are coming to the right so this is the flex column this is the flex row this is how it is divided right now so we can also give a particular width to this div let's call that as a flex first of all this can be a flex justify around and width we can set to by 5 margin right from right margin right and then because this is a desktop menu okay and we will we will add this thing later that what we want is in the large this should be visible and in the small screen this should be invisible Okay, I hope I have edited these classes correctly. Uh, visible and invisible. And then we have these couple of options like home icons and all. So we can add, okay, this is not a logo. Here we can add all the classes, required classes, okay, text should be large. Okay, whatever the font, font is semi bold, text blue. Let's call it as 800 and whenever you do the hover then we can also add a hover effect orange it become orange 500 okay same thing we can apply to all the other deals okay text is large font is semi bold initial text is blue 800 but whenever you do the hover it should change to orange and that is happening so we are good here so we have created a the kind of a desktop menu okay there are a couple of things left okay this should have some margin padding we should be able to provide some background right those things we can add justify around so here we can we should be having bg classes like background white or if this is the flex logo and then these are the menu icons okay the flex row item center justify between height is 40 height is 28 this is talking about this thing flex row this is divided i mean the items are not aligned vertically center that uh, that is the thing i'm still looking at what is missing here so and all the margin padding we can also add for each and every item so this is the margin right we have here margin left we already have and then we have all the desktop menu items okay but when you go to here you can see we have added some visible invisible classes why we have added this for the large it should be visible for the small we need to disappear this particular section we can still show the logo in the left hand side but in the right hand side we have to show the hamburger icon when you click on to the hamburger we should be able to show another uh, desktop uh, another mobile menu okay so this is our header now i see that this is not centrally aligned vertically okay i think i did mistake here it should be items center this is the tailwind class oh that's nice now we have at least the header and when you resize the screen when you go to the mobile screen we are hiding uh, this right desktop menu and that is happening so that is good now what we need to do we need to add the other menu items okay there is a mobile name we need to add here 
this is a mobile new we need to add because this one which we have is the desktop new this is desktop new and here we need to add a mobile new so first of all we need to add a hamburger icon whenever user comes to this particular page on the mobile screen he should be able to see the hamburger icon we need is and okay this is anchor tag and we can add a on click method okay we will decide that later here anchor tag and we can just add a classes here because this is going to be a this is going to show us a hamburger okay and this is going to be in large it will be invisible so for the large screen it is invisible we can use the double quotes because we are using it everywhere as a double quotes for the class names and inside this it's going to be in small it's going to be absolute and from the right it will be 24 okay let's see this is it coming up or not so we need to add uh, the hamburger csv i mean svz this is anchor tag inside anchor tag what do we have we have simple svg and i already have svg with me for this hamburger so i will just copy and paste it inside this so here we we just put width height and all and now we are running this let's go to small okay yes we got it all the it has the right margin and it is already aligned okay and for the large screen it is invisible so we got what we needed right now when you click on to this hamburger icon something should happen right so we have to add on click action we have to open an, a new tab so we can say set a, set open new and we are just passing true and set open new we can create this method here inside our component it's like we can use some kind of a hook const open new set open new and it is initialized with false initially so initially the open new was false now open new is true set open new what happened with this yeah it, it will just make the open new true and if your new you have clicked on to the hamburger icon then we have to show the mobile menu options here we are going to add the mobile menu options okay so all those option items because we can just click down to this here we need to check if open name is true then do this here we are going we can add our mobile name items mobile name items are nothing but some vertical do where we are showing all the items inside a column centrally aligned so it will be just a simple div and we are going to add all the items for this i mean it's going to be fun right so our first is a div now class name uh, position will be absolute because this is going to be stick to the top okay top will be zero for this width is full horizontal mobile width it will cover height will be 48 
and background we can say white and then it will have all these uh, items like all the anchor text we can add here we have added home all these let's copy them and paste it here i think we forgot to add one div that is why it is complaining okay class name this is correct and we have these again the same divs i'm doing just copy and paste we will change it later okay text large text orange and whenever you click on any of the item we will just uh, mark this set up and new to false we just added anchor tag here we can add false so whenever you click on any of the item we just close this menu and we will just show hamburger again this is false this is false and again so we we just have the same menu items now in the at the different place so let's increase this to yes and okay yeah i mean we are able to show them but not with the the proper styling okay so we'll fix that now and how we can fix it we just need to check how we are showing the, these items so first of all uh, this is going to be absolute full width height uh, background is white okay and these all the items we are going to display so first of all let's format this it's not looking nice okay now if you look at this options open name is true then we are going to show this div and inside that div we have all these items okay so all these items should be inside this mobile menu option so all these mobile menu options we can create another div for them let's call this as an absolute and here we can see uh, okay because this is also going to be the flex and they are going to be aligned flex column justify around and height is full padding top we need to have a little so this is our div and the closing of for this div is just after all the tags we have Okay, now let's go to the mobile screen. Oh, it is complaining. Okay, yeah, this is working. We can align them to the center, right? So, all the items, whatever we are going to put, is the item's center. So, this is the outer div. Here we can say all the items should be center aligned items center if i reload these these items should be center that's good and we can just add a close button right before we start all these things we can add a close button when you click on to the close icon this open new will close itself so do class name i mean here we are going to add another uh, icon so inside this div we are going to have one image which is close icon and this div is going to be absolute and it is going to be inside the top right corner so right 12 little bit uh, below to the top and here we are going to have an image and we can set image and it's going to be height and width we can set height is 30 let's say because it's just a close icon width is 30 and source for this is the close icon 
So we have to import the close icon from assets. Let's say I think we do have one close icon SVZ or we should just use we got the close icon we just specify that in the URL that's it and uh, the position is absolute for this div okay and when you click on to this we just close this new icon I mean new menu set open new false when you click on to the close okay yes this is happening so we are successfully able to have this hamburger icon right and when you click on to this we have small hover effect it is converting to text orange okay so our like uh, simple header we have created now we just need to create a hero component on the body of this landing page footer and all okay that should be easy okay so now let's create a hero component and we'll copy a couple of things from here and then we'll just clean this up hero dot p6 we will import all the required things we just need to import only react from react and this time this is hero component from default hero we will just empty this jsx can keep the outer div and rest all we can comment okay now we are with a clean slate and we are designing our hero component that looks like this okay so let's say we can have outer div that is just okay just to define the container oh, okay we don't need container here it's like a full width so we'll start with the flex and this is flex column i mean this whole div should be a flex column because we are putting things in the vertical stack this label then this then buttons and all right so it will be flex flex column instead of row we will have a flex column item center all the items are centrally aligned in this flex so item center and then all the things like justify start what is the minimum height you want for this particular hero section min height 96 because it's a very big one background we can set background gray uh, 50 for the large screen we can put padding top 10 uh, and for the large screen or for the large screen padding bottom will be 20 padding bottom is let's say you can put 10 and here we need to set the background and we are going to use tailwind config here lg bz hero this we have already specified what is the meaning of the background hero and for the large screen background will be cover and background size is cover background position we have background size we have background image we have all these are specified here so if i save this then we should see this particular div and inside this div we can start adding things first of all let me add this hero component to the app.psx so we can see the output for the hero component here we cannot import this so 
and the component name is hero that's it now we don't need uh, we can focus on the hero component only okay so this is our hero component let's save it it's for default hero component and let's inspect it this should start coming up so this is first and this is second okay now we can add all the the required things inside this we can have a div because we are adding the key tags paragraphs and all So we are adding class name which is okay padding is 3 margin is 2 padding top we need to add every time and text is large font is bold all the tailwind classes I mean there are these are many classes sometimes I feel like okay in tailwind we are adding too many things too many classes and for the large screen this will be text gray r300 so we are talking about this particular section now it, it starts appearing and here we can see this is food app welcomes you okay this is our hero section now uh, here we need to see why this background hero is not coming up so background hero is defined in the tailwind config url is hero.png this is actions.png bg hero okay here we have applied for the large screen okay This is the large screen. Okay, so earlier I was not able to get the background image, and uh, the problem was the tailwind config. It's not extends; it's only extend. Earlier there was additional s, and that was causing the problem. Now I can see BG Hero class is working for this background, and that is only for the large screen. So if I go here, then I can see okay my first text message okay and the background image has been attached okay so this is our hero component now we will keep adding all the other things okay inside this div we have first uh, tag then another thing is the tagline for the tagline i think uh, the text size will be larger so for the large here we are going to update the, the text size what we can do is lg text we can also set the font size text 5xl right text gray lgmx auto or oh, it should be 1 by 4 width 4 by 4 by 6 okay just like uh, the total width how much width this particular message should cover okay this looks still fine 4 by 6 is how much and next auto so margin auto from the left and right it's 5xl let's call it as 6xl okay so similarly we can add all the okay 6 is more so let's keep it 5 only so similarly we can add all the other attributes okay 
all the other messages we have so there is a description this is a tagline to the store or something and then there is another div which contains some description so it just like another p tag let's say and you can add more description about it here the size will change here we can call it as a 2 excel only because you can see the description is smaller right the tagline is bigger the description is smaller and then we have some buttons but uh, okay let's go to the large screen i think then it should look fine but i welcome you to the store this is text align center why it's not coming text center text center all these are text center okay now it is it looks fine it looks better okay and then you have couple of buttons but this is how it looks like i think we can change this to text uh, excel so it can be a little bit bigger text excel this is a 2 excel and this is the 5 excel and then we have one buttons in the bottom but this is how it looks like right this is how we are applying the styles and for the small screen also like this is for the large screen when you resize it we are removing first of all this background image because this background image is applied only for the large screen so whenever you see the hamburger option this will go away and then we have to actually now we already know what we are seeing on the the small screen we have to customize the out, outcome what we are going to see on the small screen and then it will become nicer right now we just need to add two buttons so i will add those buttons and then we will see the final outcome so this is our final outcome and this looks like kind of similar but we are able to understand the layouts the the positions how to design the new bar the mobile menu the desktop menu and how to configure the tailwind config i mean i mean you can also put the the background images background colors you can import those through the tailwind utility classes okay so it looks like this we don't need to design the the whole part it's all about the concept i'm going to i'm going to show you so i will put this on the github and you can also check that out okay that's it guys thanks everyone